Good morning, St. Andrews College. I'm Wyatt Savage, and this is SAC Today. On Saturday, April 2nd, the Prefects brought back the annual semi-formal for grades 11s and 12s in Staunton Gallery. The event had music, photographers, snacks, drinks, live casino games, and a crazy 007-themed ice sculpture. I'm sure every Andrian and his date in attendance had a great time. I know I did. Next up, junior correspondent Basil Al-Balushi brings another installment of International Andrians with a profile on graduating student and Hong Konger, Hin Chung. Hello everyone and welcome back to the segment of International Andrians. Today, I'm here with a couple of guys introducing you to Hin Shui, an amazing swimmer, an amazing guy. And I know him as Hin San. Hi guys, my name's Hin, I'm 17 years old, I'm in grade 12, and I'm from Hong Kong. Something I'm really passionate about is swimming. Uh, I've been swimming since I was four years old and competitively swimming for over a decade now. And uh, I also am a big soccer fan. I play and watch the sport. I love the team Arsenal. And I'm also a big, um, I also love going to the gym. I feel, I find that it gives me like time to relax and reflect on my day. I think transitioning into a boarding school is particularly difficult, especially if you haven't lived away from home before. And that was the case for me, right? And being like the shy, introverted kid that I was, um, coming into like the school as a boarder, I feel like I really struggled a lot like living alone and taking on like this sort of responsibility but uh, again like this is a great place with great people great community and like it was it was really easy for me to like settle in and uh i've definitely grown as an individual since okay so the culture back home is like uh, isn't too different from like the culture around here right so thing is we still celebrate things like uh thanksgiving halloween christmas but we also celebrate different events like chinese new year or uh, mid Autumn Festival, which are um, unique to our culture. Yo, you know, I was thinking, and I kind of miss home, man. Do you want to listen to some of our music? Super idol the show. This is Boston Boost. See ya, boys. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now going to pass the mic over to senior correspondent Nico Athanasopoulos, who took time to speak to a few of our grads who have committed to college and university athletic programs for next year. Over to you, Nico. St. Andrews College has always been known widely throughout Ontario for their athletics and player development. Each year, student athletes from your Saints commit to play sports at a collegiate level. Some of your friends and fellow Andrians have already committed and signed. I sat down with them to ask them about taking the next steps in their lives. I've uh, committed to the University of Northeastern. I've committed to UBC Vancouver campus for uh, football. So I committed to Marist College. Uh, I chose the University of Northeastern uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, you know, I love the city of Boston. Uh, so I'm right uh, next to the city, which is nice. Uh, they got an unbelievable hockey program there. That uh, I can't wait to to get there and be a part of that. And uh, also the academics, they uh, they do a great job there with their academics and uh, the business program. So yeah, no, I can't wait to can't wait to get down there and uh, really looking forward to it. It's a, not just a four year decision, but a forty year decision. And I feel like it was the best scholarship opportunity and the best uh, academic opportunity. So it was a no brainer. Coming from a public school. St. Andrews has helped me tremendously academically, tremendously athletically. We have great facilities here that like no other schools in Canada really have. Uh, academically, we provide great tutoring, great extra help opportunities, and I've really increased my, my grades since I've come to this school. Um, what does this mean to you, your friends, and family? 
Well, it's a dream come true. I've always wanted to play university sports, college sports. It's always been a dream of mine, and it's finally coming true. Next chapter. Well, it's helped me a lot with just decision making and you know making the smart move and always making sure that I'm 100 percent on something before I do it. So it's just it was an eye opener, I guess. Oh, it means a lot, you know. It's been uh, something that I've uh, worked towards for for a long time now, and uh, to finally uh, be committed to, especially a great school like Northeastern, uh, it means a lot to my family. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited, and I uh, can't wait to get started. For SAC today, I'm Nico with Anisopolis. Since returning from March break, upper school students have been preparing and practicing accordingly for the cadet inspection on April 30th. Our middle school correspondents captured some footage and interviewed Cadet Commanding Officer David Buckley about the process. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm Antonio and I'm with... Uh, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel David Buckley. Hello, David. How are you? I'm doing really good, Antonio. How are you? I'm great. What's your responsibility to here? Um, so for the 2021-2022 uh, training year, I um, am the Cadet Commanding Officer here of the 142 St. Andrews Highland Cadet Corps. My responsibility is to, to lead the Cadet Corps, um, but particularly right now in parade season, I'm just making sure everything goes well within the headquarters. And um, we have our drill instructors and our platoon 2 ICs and our CSMs uh, making sure they're performing at the highest, uh, highest level to make sure that we're re looking really sharp on parade this season. How has been your time here in Cadets? Ah, that's a great question. I've absolutely loved every minute of my time in Cadets. Um, when I came to the school in grade 9, they had uh, changed the program dramatically um, from how it had been before, is my understanding, and um, geared it much more towards an outdoor leadership program, which tailored really well to uh, to my interests and my goals. Love uh, being outdoors and uh, practicing practical outdoor leadership skills, and so I was able to really do well in the program, and I, I, I love everything that we do here at the 142. All right. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> That's all for SAC Today. I'm Antonio. After two-year hiatus, parade season is back in full swing here at St. Andrews. On Sunday, we had our annual church parade, and today, we have our head of school parade. Our saints are behind me, in formation, ready to march. Bugler! Please start march on the court! Company, stand fast, remainder, stand at ease. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for attending the head of schools parade today on a rather chilly Tuesday. This is a summer day in Scotland, so we'll be used to it. Uh, it's been actually three years since we've done this, and um, I, I want to thank you for your efforts. I know that. Most of you have never done anything remotely close to uh, drill and marching, and it's different for you. It's a new experience.
This coming Saturday, we're going to have the annual cadet inspection followed by the cadet formal later on at King's Riding Golf Course for all of this year's grads. All Saints around campus are very excited that the parade season is back in full swing and I wish you the best of luck on Saturday. For SAC Today, I'm Wyatt Savage.